Hi everyone. The Luxor Obelisk is a 23-meter granite obelisk that was erected in the 13th century BCE by the pharaoh Ramses II. It originally stood at the entrance of the Luxor Temple in Egypt. The obelisk is made of red granite, a durable and prized material for ancient Egyptian monuments. It was carved during the reign of Ramses II, one of the most powerful and prolific pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Obelisks in ancient Egypt held religious and symbolic significance. They were often erected in pairs at the entrances of temples to honor the gods. The Luxor Obelisk, being located at the entrance of the Luxor Temple, would have served a similar purpose, symbolizing the connection between the earthly and divine realms. The obelisk is covered with hieroglyphics, which are ancient Egyptian characters or symbols that were used for writing. The sides of the obelisk are adorned with various decorative elements, including depictions of gods, religious rituals, and sacred animals. Ramses II, as the pharaoh who commissioned the obelisk, depicted in a position of reverence or performing religious rites. Hieroglyphs on the obelisk include prayers, hymns, and praises to the gods, emphasizing the divine authority of the pharaoh and invoking blessings for the kingdom. The specific hieroglyphic inscriptions may vary, but they would align with the religious and ceremonial context of the Luxor temple. Many obelisks, including the Luxor obelisk, were associated with sun worship. The pointed shape of the obelisk symbolized a ray of the sun, and its placement at temples highlighted its connection to solar deities. The hieroglyphs also include historical inscriptions, commemorating the achievements or events during Ramses II's reign. Pharaohs often used obelisks as a means to immortalize their legacy and convey their devotion to the gods. Ramses II, also known as Ramses the Great, ruled Egypt from 1279 to 1213 BCE. He was a prominent builder and military leader, and his reign is often considered a high point in the history of ancient Egypt. The Luxor Obelisk is a testament to Ramses II's monumental building projects and his desire to leave a lasting legacy. The Luxor Temple, where the obelisk was originally erected, is located on the east bank of the Nile River in Luxor, ancient Thebes. The temple was primarily dedicated to the rejuvenation of kingship and celebrated festivals related to the god Moon. The Luxor temple predated Ramesses II by about 150 years. During his reign, renovations were made that included the addition of the two obelisks. The idea of acquiring the Luxor obelisk for France originated during Napoleon's campaign in Egypt in the late 18th century. The concept gained momentum through various individuals and events. The notion of bringing the Luxor obelisk to Paris was initially conceived during Napoleon's military campaign in Egypt. General Louis Charles Antoine Dizé, on March 21, 1799, wrote to Napoleon, informing him of the existence of two obelisks in Thebes, modern Luxor. Dizé believed that transporting these obelisks to Paris would create an extraordinary spectacle. Vivant Denon, in his 1802 work Voyage dans la Bassette la Haute Egypte, also discussed the idea of bringing the Luxor obelisks to Paris. Denon saw them as potential trophies of French conquest during the campaign in Egypt. On October 8, 1800, Jean-Marie Joseph Coftel presented the first technical considerations for the transport and erection of one of the Luxor obelisks to the Place de la Concorde before the Institut d'Egypte in Cairo. Despite these plans, the French campaign in Egypt concluded without realizing the transportation of the obelisks to France during Napoleon's rule. Under Louis XVIII, successor to Napoleon, the French sought an obelisk as a piece of Egyptian art. The French acquired rights to Cleopatra's needle in Alexandria, but this obelisk was eventually sent to New York City in 1881 and did not make its way to France. In the 1820s, King Charles X of France opened an Egyptian museum and expressed a desire to obtain an obelisk as a symbol of Egyptian art. 
Jean-Francois Champollion, renowned for deciphering the Rosetta hieroglyphs, saw the Luxor obelisks during this time and strongly advocated for their acquisition over other obelisks. The Luxor obelisks journey to France as a gift from Muhammad Ali Pasha in the 19th century is a fascinating historical episode. Initially, the Luxor obelisks were gifted to the British by Muhammad Ali Pasha. However, on the suggestion of France's Consul General Maimalt, inspired by the eminent Egyptologist Champollion, Muhammad Ali Pasha decided to reverse this decision. The British were instead given the obelisk of Hatshepsut in Karnak Temple, a more practical choice due to its location within surrounding stone structures. Baron Isidore Justin Savran Taylor, a French diplomat and senior to Maimalt, played a pivotal role in finalizing the terms of the gift. These diplomatic efforts included negotiations and agreements to facilitate the transport and installation of the Luxor obelisk in France. In November 1830, Muhammad Ali Pasha officially bestowed the Luxor obelisks upon France. In reciprocation for the gift of the Luxor obelisks, France presented the Ottomans with a mechanical clock in the 1840s, known as the Cairo Citadel clock. Unfortunately, the clock has rarely worked since its arrival in Cairo. In 1981, President François Mitterrand of France made a historic decision to definitively renounce possession of the second Luxor obelisk. This gesture aimed to strengthen diplomatic relations and restore the ownership of the obelisk to Egypt. The decision was made to relocate the western obelisk, and in 1831, the dismantling process commenced. Specially designed for transportation, the Luxor ship carried the obelisk, reaching Paris in 1833. King Louis-Philippe oversaw its erection at the center of Place de la Concorde in 1836. The entire endeavor incurred a substantial cost, with an estimated expense of 2.5 million francs, equivalent to approximately 16 million euros. This considerable expense might explain why the relocation of the second obelisk never materialized. Originally designated for an equestrian statue of Louis XVI by Jean-Pierre Courtot, the present-day pedestal found an unexpected purpose after the statue was destroyed during the July Revolution in 1830. In 1998, France added a gold-leafed pyramid cap to the obelisk's pinnacle, sponsored by Yves Saint Laurent. Speculation about the Pyramidian's original covering, possibly bronze, gold, or electrum, dates back to the 500s BC, with the suspicion that it was pilfered. Considering the pedestal and cap, the monument's current height stands at approximately 33.37 meters, equivalent to 109 feet. The central location of the obelisk in this historic square was part of a larger urban design plan and added to the aesthetic and cultural significance of the area. The Luxor obelisk at the Place de la Concorde served as a powerful symbol of the historical ties between Egypt and France, emphasizing cultural exchange and diplomatic relations. The transportation and installation of the Luxor obelisk were monumental achievements that showcased the collaborative efforts of diplomats, engineers, and cultural enthusiasts in preserving and celebrating ancient history. The obelisk's presence in Paris continues to be a testament to the enduring connections between civilizations. Thanks for watching.